Hi everyone, and welcome to the Back 40 Feet, where we talk about suburban, urban, and patio gardening. And today I'm going to be talking about my nemesis, the squash vine borer. So, you know, I can be pretty zen about uh, critters in my garden, but I think everybody has a hot button of either bugs or critters that they really don't like, and mine are squash vine borers. Um, I find them to be just an incredibly selfish bug. So here's the deal with them, is they are clear-winged moths that fly in the daytime. So sometimes you could uh, mistake them for a wasp or a bee. And they have like orange bellies and black wings. The males will come out first, and here in New England, um, we only have one emergence a season, which is usually late June, but in warmer climates, sometimes you can have two emergence of, um, of insects. So the males will emerge two weeks before the female, then the female will emerge, and they lay eggs at the underneath part of your squash vine leaves or your cucumbers or your melons or your cantaloupes. When the eggs hatch, the lar larvae bore into the stem and right at the base of the plant. And you can't even see them because they're inside the stem. But what you'll find is you'll suddenly come out and you look at your vine and it's completely wilted and dry and sad. And you're like, I swear I just watered that. It looks like it's just running out of water. And then it dies. When you suddenly see one vine out of all the rest of them wilted, it's sort of a suspicion. But then you can go down and look at the base. And what you'll see is it almost looks like sawdust. Um, and you'll see holes at the bottom of the vine. These little larvae only eat about five inches of the vine, but they're the bottom five inches of the vine and kill the whole thing. So it's a really frustrating bug. Um, it is a caterpillar when it's a larvae, so they are susceptible to bacillus, except they're inside the stem. So you really can't treat them with a topical very much, and you don't know they're in the stem because you can't see them. So the best solution when you have uh, squash vine borers is prevention. Uh, you can probably go to your local uh, state extension service. They usually will have like sort of pest alerts and let you know if there's any in your area or when they've started to emerge. The other thing you can do, especially specifically with these squash vine borers, is I set up a trap which I will show you in a moment, and it's a pheromone trap that will only attract the male insects. I certainly don't want to attract the females. I will bring them over to my plants, but uh, what it will do is it will trap them, and I can count them every morning, fun, and the threshold is pretty much once you have five in a trap, then they're in full swing, and your plants are at risk. There are some that will say that if you have, you can tolerate up to 10 to 12 in a trap for your your vining squashes versus the uh, shrub like ones like a zucchini that doesn't vine I don't care I'm just not letting the squash vine borers get to my my plants um, so I do have a trap and I found four males in there today and that means that I'm not going to wait for the fifth one I am just going to start uh, protecting my plants now so Basically, I need to put uh, uh, either a row cover or a summer weight fleece onto the vines so that the females can't get to them to lay eggs. Before I do that, I'm going to inspect every one of my vines to make sure that there's no eggs in there. Because if there's already eggs that are laid and I put this nice, you know, cover over them, I've now protected those eggs from any predators that could have potentially protected my vines. Um, so, it, you know, it, usually you have to protect the vines for about four weeks. Uh, one of the bummers about covering up the vines is that that means that the bees can't get to them either. So that's going to be a period of time that they're not going to get pollinated by bees. Um, 
you know, crawling insects like ants uh, can still be up and around the vines. So sometimes you still can get some pollination, but it definitely can decrease your harvest. But it's better than not having any, which would be from a dead vine. So let's check out what we need to do for my nemesis, the squash vine borer. This is my squash vine borer trap. Um, you can see it's a pretty good size. Um, it's probably about a foot tall that I have hanging easily a hundred feet away from my vines. And up here in the top is a lure. It's a pheromone lure that's good for one month. And then if you can kind of see in there, this is a funnel that will then go down. And yellow attracts the squash vine borers. Uh, you can probably go on the internet and look at sort of homemade traps that you can make for squash vine borers, but that can also attract females too, so to keep that in mind. And then this is just a collection trap that I have about like half an inch of water in so that the bugs go in and they don't come out. So here is my garden cover that um, I got from Gardener Supply Catalog. And here I'm using the summer weight fabric uh, versus, you know, the other two. Uh, the garden quilt is really intended as uh, a season extender. And this is also um, the all-purpose fabric you can use for a season extender, but you can also use to keep the bugs out. But this one is specifically to keep the bugs out. And you can even see here that it doesn't trap the heat in, um, which is really important. I don't want to stress my vines out, but it will keep all these pests out. Uh, most vine borers, yay, I hate those things. Um, you know, some people can use these for even to keep birds out. You know, I don't have that much of a problem with the birds, uh, but then again, I don't have any fruit trees. And the important thing here is that this will still allow 85% of the sunlight to come in and it's really lightweight which when I open the package you'll see so that when it rains it still gets through so I don't have to worry about uh, you know if this was plastic or something I wouldn't be able to get the water in naturally from the sky uh, so it does provide some protection but at 28 to 30 degrees I'm already thinking about season extenders and really what I'm intending to use this for is just those four weeks that my vines are at risk for females laying their eggs. Once I've passed that window that the females would be laying eggs, I can take this whole thing off, let the bees have at it, and pollinate my squash vines. If you live someplace warmer than here, you may want to check with your extension service to see what are the two season, like what are your two emergence times, because there's two sets of egg laying opportunities for squash vine borers. Uh, there are some gardeners that will even you know, plant sort of a, a crop really early with the intent that that would be sort of a sacrificial crop and let the borers have that and then they'll plant a second one. But I, I only have the one season, so I got to get through four weeks. So here I have the fabric out and you can see really like this is like tissue paper, but it is a polypropylene, so it's pretty strong. It doesn't tear very easy. Um, super lightweight so I can even just float these on top of the plants and use some earth staples to keep them from um, floating like blowing away but uh, this is a pretty good size width and length so I'm going to see what I can how creative I can be with my squash tunnel to protect my vines here's the fabric on my squash tunnel and um, so I bought 50 foot length but it is six foot in width so this will give a it's gonna to have to be on here for a good month and I want to give enough space for the plants to grow because if you come in here and look you can see this here is my cantaloupe and I swear it's been growing about six inches a day so it's gonna be crawling up here pretty quickly and if you just kind of go around um, I still have room for my lettuce and you can really see this is very lightweight it still lets a lot of air circulation through and a lot of water so I shouldn't have any problem with any like downy mildew or anything on my squashes so yet another use for my squash tunnel